What's going on YouTube? Want to do a quick video on how to remove your covers in a second gen Toyota Tacoma from years 2009 to 2015. Um, I believe those from those years they have the controls that go underneath your HVAC controls. Okay. Just want to show you the simplest way how to remove it. All right. Just grab a precision flathead screwdriver. I have this one by Husky. It's one eighth in size. It's a diamond coated tip. Diamond coated tip. One eighth by two. All right. You want to use something that has a thin profile, just like that. Something that has some sort of grip as well at the tip, just like this. this is diamond coated. It has a rough texture. Okay, easier for things to grab, for it to hold on to. So the quickest and easiest way to remove these covers is by putting your flathead on this edge here of this cover all right want to get it in there and right in the center I'm not at the center but it's right at the center like so and we're gonna push away from us to the right that was about an inch and a half pushed away and the cover came off already so once it pops off once you see it and feel it grab it with your nails on the top and the bottom I don't even have to pull I just grabbed it and it slid right out okay and that's it that's how you remove your cover in your second gen Toyota Tacoma so if you wanted to replace the cover sorry if you wanted to replace the cover um, Put a aftermarket push button switch there or another a different kind of switch if you wanted to put some USB charging ports it's so whatever in general if you're doing maintenance that's how you remove it and you got to be careful not to tug so hard because this harness that's right right behind it it's not latched okay so if you pull too hard it'll slide right off and if you do pull too hard it'll go into your console all right you don't want to do that because then you put you'll give yourself more work trying to dig that harness out of there so just be careful pulling it out put it out slowly all right just like I did I just grabbed it from the top and the bottom with my nail and it just slid it just came right out just like that all right it goes for the same for the other ones um, the USB auxiliary switch and the A track are a little tricky. Okay. Um, let me let me show you how to remove this one before I talk about talk more about these two. So with your left cover, you want to go in the center again on the edge here. Alright. I say this edge because there's more meat on this side. It's it's, it's stiffer. You have more you have more uh, tension gives you more tension not like if I were to do it on this side this little thin spline of the molding here will bend it's already bending me sticking the flathead in there we don't want to do that it might destroy the molding and that's not what we want to do you know some of us want to keep our interior looking nice so what I do is just like this, uh, just like the other side on this side, get it in the center, push it in, and push it away from you towards the left. All right, and it should pop off, just like that. All right, no damage to your molding, no damage to your cover, no damage to wiring. Okay, and then you're just gonna grab it on the your nails on the top and the bottom and pull it out slowly and it comes right out if it's too 
too tight to remove make sure make sure the harness behind this first cap is attached and while you start pulling it get your hand back there or your finger and kind of keep it in place while you pull it out okay because it feels like either it's my truck or it could be any other truck um, there might not have enough slack okay maybe it's just my truck so that's why I'm keeping my finger back here so the harness doesn't shoot back into the console so like I was telling you about this one here okay so that's how you remove your your covers all right um, your harness isn't latched on this one either it'll come right out if you tug too hard um, for the for the other existing switches for your USB auxiliary and your a track button it's kind of tricky but there's a way to get it out instead of using your flathead because there is you don't have any tension on this side you will bend that thin spline the molding that thin molding and uh, if you push too hard it'll possibly crack it okay so well, what can you do well, what I did was what I did was I got my finger in through this hole here and carefully carefully pushed got to the back very back of the uh, switch and pushed it towards the left okay once you see the front tweak to the right a little bit you're gonna want to push and pull towards you push towards you and it comes right off just like that okay and that's how you get out those switches all right same thing for the a track you know just get your hand or your finger sorry get your finger behind behind it tweak it to the left and then push out this way or you can go in this way tweak it to the right and push out and it should come out all right you can see there's no damage to the molding no cracks the covers and latches are not broken no broken latches no wires cut or anything it's all in good shape okay so if you ever wanted to put it back together you can put it back together with your original OEM caps um, if you like I said if you're trying to replace them with aftermarket switches or just doing maintenance in general you know that's how you that's how you do this so easy and simple you know, only took two minutes to do all right if you have any questions or comments uh, leave them below I'll try to answer them as swiftly as possible um, if you like the video give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one Thanks, everybody. Bye.